Hello everybody, welcome to yet another stream and in today's stream of course we're going to be returning to our playthrough of Grand Theft Auto 5 finally after like months of not doing this um, and like almost a month of not streaming oh, altogether. Looks... Let's do some donuts until the car craps out. No actually that's not because it will. It actually will, cr the wheels will like explode and that's not on. Let's do at least one full circle though. Can I even do a full circle properly? The car doesn't seem to want to. <laughs> Maybe I'm I've just I've, I've lost it. There I was fine. It's like road circles, man. <laughs> what is that? What have I done? Remember, this is a Rockstar game. It's worth doing the open world stuff. That's my personal note to myself. Oh, this man robbed and shit. It's all right. I will save you. Don't make this any worse than it already is. It's fine. What is this? Oh, Christ. I also have to try again. This is the most effective way to, to stop a thief. Crush his head against a fence. Oh, my God. I've got bullet holes in me. Whee! What did he steal? Oh. Here we go. I've done it. You literally just watched me get shot three times by a man after running him over and crushing his face against him. How do I have exit wounds, but no entry wounds besides from one or two? Baffling. Oh, no, he's fine. Don't worry about it. I feel like my car's fucked. There's blood on the windscreen. And there's also... Yeah, we're in a... We're, in a, we're up shit creek. He already had some bullets inside him, and he pushed them out. Yeah, he ate the bullets and then they pushed out. That's what happened. I don't need a repaired car. I don't even need to abide by traffic laws. Driving in games is not my strong suit, as you will come to learn. Can I talk to you for a second? No. What are you talking about? I am Legalize I'm weed. Fine. Don't say nope to dope. This state makes Ill This isn't bush weed. This is mana. Yes, you want to get high. Trust me. I'm fine. <laughs> Naturally. He's in a park with nobody listening to him going, Legalize weed! Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Serious, but, uh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm high as shit. Kill the aliens! Die, alien! Well, why the f- oh, I'm high. Jesus, it's like a xenomorph, but green. Where are they coming from? I feel like this man is actually an alien, and this is not weed that he's had me smoke. Die, squid men. Also, where did I conveniently get the minigun from? They're trying to probe me. I can't have it. This is not exactly the kind of encounter I was expecting when I walked into the park. Run away. Ah, fuck. Why are they charging me? <laughs> Epic Drenga vision from the herbs. <laughs> He's still chatting about it. Complete insanity. We discuss globalization, <laughs> state. Stay the fuck away from me. What? You know what? There's, there's some. This man needs to. Then I need to do something to this, to this man. He's done me. He's done me dirty. Yeah. Can I? Can I? Yeah. You know what? Oh, you please, it's medicinal. I have a card. Come this, on, this is tyranny by morons. He's hench. He don't care. Let's go. Wee! This is what happens when you get high. The thirty, sorry, the three J's. Let me in. Entry costs twenty dollars per person. Welcome to the cinema. Oh. Wait, hang on, they got hanged? No, I was just gonna do- I was just gonna make a joke of- Ah, yeah, I'm on the phone. No talking. Or toddler. Fuck, that's- this is violent. Were you planning on it? I need to know. Also, why is the zoom so ridiculous? Who's this man? This is disorienting. Is that the strange man from Red Dead? Why is there a ladder going into the sky? I'm a little bit confused. I'm just a bit confused as to what the fuck I'm... You know, I've had enough. 
get into my packed car. <laughs> I like how I've got a coffee in here that I'll never touch. It's probably freezing cold coffee. Mmm, cold coffee. I deviated from the main story and got high and battled aliens. I feel like that's a sign. Oh god, my poor, poor car. It was a nice zesty vehicle. The rules of the road only slow me down. Survival is overrated. I have returned. Which one of these is my house again? How did I come across that? But I don't even know whose bike that was meant to be. It just happened to be there. Oh, look at that skyline. It's nice. The long stretch. It's a stretchy long one. There's loads of people here. I live here. Yeah. So you stay? Anyway, Magenta is reinvigorating my femininity. She does so look like the kind of woman who'd reinvigorate your femininity. This is a shit car. Hang on, I need to sort out this car. It's looking sorry for itself and needs fixing. It's clearly his car. I don't know why he asked me to drive it, but I'm going to boot it in as a sign of disrespect for the fact that he smells. I could actually cause the car to explode just by booting the grill, couldn't I? That's what we're going to do. I like how he's got enough force to boot the car and have it move that much. It won't let me boot it anymore. Oh, there we go. In a minute, I'm going to go to the back and start kicking the back in. That's if the front doesn't explode and kill us all. I am moving the car. Franklin must have some proper power kicks. This is a demonstration of masculinity, friends. <laughs> I was just stood there like, what? <laughs> right, on with the show. Can I get a love art on my gun? Frank did not have enough money to buy the pump shotgun and the flashlight mod. Oh, I, I I can't buy grenades. I have to buy the pump shotgun and the flashlight modification. Can I buy the hammer? No, I can't. I can't afford the hammer. Oh, that's a shame. I want the hammer, though. I don't care about some pump shotgun. Ooh, look at the gun. It's levitating. There's a poltergeist in the ammunition store. I can't think of a worse place for there to be a poltergeist in an ammunition store. So here we are. Ah, oh, shooting vest. I can live out my redneck dream. Why is the car fixed? Who's been working on the car while I've been in there? Attention. Something gay. No, pay. I'm just reading the sign. It's just really poorly printed. Give me a second. There's a staring at me like, what the fuck are you doing? Listen, the drug deal can wait. I've got a shotgun. Oh, it's him. Oh, no, he's dead. Bang. I'm head. What's he doing behind this door? Okay. What was he doing there? Oh, I've got a flashlight. That's really cool. Don't know what this guy was doing, but hey, he's dead now. That was one straight to his face. He no longer has a face. I guess I've got to shoot the helicopter guy. Bye bye, helicopter guy. Where are we going? Whee! We're gonna run away. Whee! This is how you land these jumps. Get in the car. You know what? You come on. He took his time to get in the car, didn't he? You gonna be pushing the bus? I like how I crashed into that lady. She's like, "Oh goodness gracious! Why the fuck is there a barricade? Fuck off! Stop shooting at the authorities!" It only makes the situation work, fuck. This has got to be the most scuffed escape anyone's ever witnessed. Oh, look at that. I'm actually making some... Oh, fuck. The moment I start making some distance, the authorities rock up again. I guess this is the abscond I need. It's roads that don't make sense. Don't have a simple pattern. I... You can't even drive in a straight line on them. There's no sense for a police car to come up here because this car shouldn't be able to be up here. However... It's the perfect escape that ends. The car needs to be paggered so that it doesn't look like the same paggered car that the police were chasing. Come on, Chop. We're going to go places. He's trying to figure out how to get around a motorbike. And I'm going to show him the ropes. Don't run over the dog. Just run over me. It's fine. Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh, no! No! He fucking ran over my dog, you bastard! That's for running over my dog. <laughs> Stop trying to run over my dog. 
I'm gonna have a gentleman calling later. So make yourself scared. I have a shotgun, and I literally... F I don't get... And they call the authorities on me now. They tell me to make myself scarce. Do you want a pump action shotgun to the face, Nan? Is that what you want? I'll shoot your ears out. Or you, I'm going to shoot your fucking telly. Look at that. Now you can't watch telly. Now every single episode of MTV Cribs is going to feature a smashed window. The authorities can't get into my yard. They absolutely can. Okay. It's not a safe house after all, is it? Right, I guess I have to return home and make apologies to my nan for shooting a television. But like, grandmother, I'm sorry. I'm sorry the police came around. Some random stupid woman ran over my dog. Don't draw attention to me, Chop. The police are after me. Don't do it, Chop. Come on, Chop, let's go. Get in the car! The door opened itself for Chop because it knew. It knew his majesty was coming. Take him to pets at home. I will. I'll take Chops to pets at home and he'll start trying to fuck the, like, the iguana that they have on display. He's a man of serious testosterone. What happens if I crash the car so aggressively that we get sent flying? I mean, I've seen Chop get run over. My heart can't take much more than that. I have $72 to my name. I'm sure I can buy some... <laughs> I'm sure I can buy something. I can't even... I can't... Oh, I'm so poor that I can't do shit. That's not. I need to find somewhere for Chop. I need to take Chop on a massive adventure. Where, where where would one take Chop to for an adventure? Like, give me give me an idea of which direction to head. Take him to the ghost. There's a ghost? Right, where do I find this fucking ghost? Me and Chop are paranormal investigators now. I feel like a supercar is perhaps not the best um, paranorm paranormal um, investigator car. However, we do this in style. I almost launched this supercar off a fucking hill. I don't feel like I'm in the city anymore. Why am I investigating this ghost with Chop? Lamar would not be happy if he discovered that we ran over his... That we got his dog ran over and then took it to find a ghost. I'm just tearing up the streets of impoverished nowhere. I have three in-game hours, which is five in real life minutes. I'm off-roading in a car that is obviously designed for the racetrack. Me and Chop are off-roading legends. This is giving me anxiety. <laughs> he can't even be bothered getting in. Oh, there he is. One more turn and that car goes flying. It's fine. All right. That's a lighthouse, nothing to worry. I don't have a sniper with a scope. I do, however, have a tennis ball. So go on, Chop. Go get the ball, Chop. I'm pretty sure I've sent that off to Syria. Is that what I think it is? What the shit? We found a ghost! Hello, ghost! What's good? How's life treating you? I found a... Mother. It's been a long time. Jesus Christ. Is there a photo mode? Hello there! Yes, yes, I would like to save that to my gallery. That's... I've taken a picture of a ghost. That's very terrifying. But I've got a screenshot now. Call Chop. I would love to call Chop, but right now, I want to witness this lady. I feel like we should stare at her again with this. That's Franklin's new wallpaper sorted. Goners! See? She's goners. That was creepy. Back to my car. I come up the mountain to investigate a ghost and somebody's stolen my car. God damn it, Chop. You threw Chop's ball very far. Yes, so far that he fucking disappeared. I think he disappeared and went home. <gasps> oh, this is just not good.